Welcome back. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to fold the origami model Slave 1, designed by Chris Alexander, the diagrams for which can be found in his book, Star Wars Origami. To get started, you'll need an origami square, paper of which can be found in the back of his book. But if you're anywhere else in the world or you're in art class with me, we'll just use an A4 piece of paper, fold it over, and create our origami square and trim off the back of that paper. Now, to get started, we're going to be making a bird base. So we're going to start by making what I call the origami X, taking that bottom left-hand corner, folding it up to the right-hand corner, and having two valley folds going across the center of our paper. Then you're going to fold the bottom half up to the top half and have a horizontal valley fold going through the center of your paper. Right hand side over to the left hand side so we have a vertical valley fold going through the center of your paper. Turn your paper and this uh, diagonal here should have a mountain fold and if you fold it down like that it will turn into your preliminary base. Then making our bird base we'll take the bottom edge of this preliminary base and fold it into the center to make that triangle. Do the same thing on the other side, taking the bottom outside edge and folding it in to meet the center. Then <clears throat> take the top, fold it down so that it forms a triangle right along that line and open those up and pedal fold the top flap of this paper upwards, crease those in to make the valley folds and then recrease those out to make the mountain folds on that side. Then that completes one side of the bird base. Next, finish the other side of the bird base, just the same as the first, folding those sides in, opening it up, pedal folding that flap back upwards, and done with our bird base, something like that. Flap the two down, and now we're going to create the sink fold that's up here at the top. Mark the fold halfway there and then take the tip again and fold it down one more time. We're going to take that resulting triangle and um, sink fold it inside. So open the paper up, mountain fold the perimeter of the uh, resulting square there and gently push it together making sure that the sink fold goes nicely inside. Alright, should look something like that when you're finished. Now we're going to take, there's two flaps on this side, two flaps on that side. We're going to flap them in like this so that the center point is right here pointing at the center and the outside edge is parallel with the center line. Okay, finish that on all four sides. And then we're going to take those resulting flaps and unfold them and sink them inside. So unflap all of them and open your model up and see the resulting triangle there. Mountain fold the perimeter of that triangle so that the interior of the triangle can be gently synced inside of the model like that. Now you're going to repeat that three more times, one on each side. Mountain folding the triangle, sink folding it in, mountain folding the triangle, sink folding it in, mountain folding the triangle, and sink folding it inside. Now once you've finished that we're going to um, do one more sink fold. We're going to take this top edge there and fold it down to make this little trapezoid shape. Once we've got that trapezoid shape, you're going to open your model up and the resulting rectangle that's there, you will sink fold inside. This is going to make the little pocket to hold the fuselage together later. Okay, and that's what it should look like when you're done. A little sink fold. Alright, now we're going to work on the wings. I'm going to work on the right hand wing first and then the left hand wing separately afterwards. Okay, take this um, wing and fold it out to the side so that the interior of it is parallel with the, that top piece. Then you're going to inside reverse fold it like so. So it will be inside reverse folded and sticking out to the side just like that. Now you're going to take the bottom edge and fold it so that it's parallel with the right hand edge of your model like that and then you're going to outside reverse fold it popping the paper open and outside reverse folding it and it should look something like this when you're done now take this piece and valley fold it so that the outside edge is parallel with the center there and then open that piece up and inside reverse fold it like this now take that piece flap the top flap down and take the point of it and fold it outwards to the right hand side. Then repeat the same step on the other side. Okay, exactly the same with the wing. 
opening it up, inside reverse fold, valley fold it up, outside reverse fold, and tip down to inside reverse fold, open that flap downward and fold the corner outwards. And that finishes the kind of middle part of that step. Now, for the next part, we're going to be working on the inside flaps. All right, there's these two little inside flaps here. And we're going to need to fold a triangle right here, taking this outside edge and folding it in towards that center line so that the pointy side of the triangle is out and the uh, wider part of the triangle, I guess, is pointing towards the inside. And those are going to get tucked in later, but that is after the next step. Fold all that back down so we're towards the front of the model. Then take the outside edges and the top outside edges, I guess, and fold them up to create the fuselage area here. Then take these little flaps that are inside the wings and bend them up. It should look like that on the top and that on the bottom. Then we're going to try to do the uh, most difficult part of this model, I find, which is to sink fold this little triangular area inside. What it's going to do is create the wing and make it all stick together. So take that triangular area and fold it, valley fold it downward so that it looks something like that. Then I've found the best thing to do is to create this triangle area and sink fold it in, separate the two top and the bottom flaps of paper and as you gently work it open with your thumb or your index finger, okay, push that mountain fold down, pinch the top flaps and then kind of gently pull the rest of the paper apart. There's about three or four flaps of paper underneath there at the moment and it's really difficult to get all those flaps of paper to um, cooperate and fold inside to make that um, sink fold. Okay? Once you get that done you're going to take the little extra triangle and fold it right up underneath that bottom flap of the wing. Okay, And it should look something like that when you're done. Okay. Then repeat the same step on the other side. Valley folding that little flap down, opening it up, separating the two flaps, gently working that mountain fold in, pinching the top together, and folding those flaps in together as you sink fold it. Then taking that triangular bit and folding it back underneath the model. Okay. Now we're going to open up this part of the wing open it up and we're going to actually create and shape the wing now. Open that bottom flap, open the top flap. Now we're going to valley fold this little triangular area there and you'll see it on your paper while you're working. There's already um, folds there from previously folding the paper. Then valley fold the top area as well so that these two areas are parallel. Then inside reverse fold it or if you want to say that sink fold it so it looks like that when you're done. Then take the point of the wing fold it in to meet up with this uh, top flap. Then I like to mount and fold it backwards so I know where the flap is going to be and then flap that inside so that it's tucked on top of that fold just like this. Okay and tuck it inside there so that it's uh, holding itself together. Then we're going to mount and fold the top of the wing backwards to kind of create the curved shape. And then we're going to take a little triangle here, valley fold it upwards, and then sink fold it inside to complete the shaping of the wing. Okay, once you've completed the shaping for one wing, you're going to repeat the same steps on the other side. Opening it up, valley folding those two edges down, or sorry, up and down to make the little triangles. Inside reverse fold them so that they're going inside of the model. Mountain fold, valley fold tuck the little flap inside the pocket, mountain fold the top of the wing backwards and then valley fold the little triangle and tuck it inside by sink folding it. Now we're going to work on the fuselage section here. To create it we're going to need to start by valley folding a whole tip inside. So you're going to take a valley fold from here down to that little section there and then crease it, valley fold, crease it upwards to make the section look something like that. Then you're going to inside reverse fold it. Follow the valley that's already there, mountain fold that center crease and then re-crease uh, the outside edge into another valley fold so that it's sticking out something like this. Now we're going to take this tip 
and Valley fold it backwards to meet up with the fuselage. All right, meeting up with the fuselage, it should look something like this. Um, having the valley fold right at the end and the tip meeting right there. Then unfold it and outside reverse fold that, flipping the model, that tip around the outside edge of the model, and the result should look something like this. Now take this tip and valley fold it towards the outside tip, just like that, and outside reverse fold that around so that the tip, when it's finished, looks something like this. Then, if you need to, take this whole area or section and push it down so that the corner there is resting against the fuselage and recrease those little edges there. Now, you can pivot fold that little point so it's perpendicular with the vertical of the fuselage here. Then, we're going to inside reverse fold a little triangle here. So, first valley fold it or mountain fold it, either way and then unfold it and inside reverse that so it's sticking inside of the bottom area of the fuselage. Then take the corners down here and you're going to actually bend them inside of the model. So just mountain fold those inside the model once and then the other side mountain folding it like that just so that it takes the shape of the uh, slave ship from the movie. Then. Uh, to finish off the fuselage area, we're going to tuck this little piece here inside of that sunk fold pocket. So fold it over the top just to get it to the right, um, get that mountain fold to the right area, and then stick it inside of the pocket so that it's holding the little um, pleat fold of the inside, uh, inside of the little flap. And that makes it look a little nicer than on the outside of that flap. It should look like that when you're done. Now, to finish the model, we'll work on the last part, which is the back. Take this corner here and uh, valley fold it upwards. And then you're going to reverse fold that and sink it inside of the model. Okay, open up those flaps, sink it inside so that the bottom edge of the model is flat, like so. Then we're going to make a little pleat fold, this part being the mountain fold and that part there being a valley fold. So I'm just going to pinch that area up into a mountain fold, bend it over, and the resulting pleat fold should look something like that on the bottom. Okay. Now to keep that pleat, oh, and that's going to make the curved shape to the back of the model. Then to keep the pleat fold stuck together, I take that little triangle and fold it back around like so and that will kind of pinch the whole model together. Then these bottom corners need to be valley folded upwards like that and in the directions he says to just valley fold them up like that. If you want to take the time and the effort you can kind of unfold them and sink fold them back inside of the model and then uh, you don't have that valley fold uh, on the back of it but you have that sunk inside and I think that looks um, just a little bit neater. So you can take that and just sink fold those onto the inside. Okay, and once you're done with those sink folds and the back of the model, your model is complete. And that's how you finish the folding for Slave 1 from Chris Alexander's book, Star Wars Origami.